Hello and welcome to this review of Carlo Rossi Burgundy wine, 12% alcohol. Um, on the website they say that um, it's from 1975 but then if you look at the history they're saying originally it was Carlo Rossi Red Mountain Wines 1962 and then in 75 they dropped the Red Mountain and then they say although it's still on some of the labels so it's kind of like introduced in 1962 and rebranded to some extent in 75. So this Burgundy recipe, whatever, could be from 1962. I know the Gallo family Burgundy is from 64. All right, it's, this is four liters. It was $13.98 at Walmart in Mathern, same price at both stores. I was in Eagle Pass, Texas. A few days ago, oh, it's dripping. Eagle Pass, Texas, and I went to HEB, and it was ten ninety nine for this four liter bottle. Four liters, okay. So they say it's a, you know, Burgundy is a region of France. You may have read about the Burgundians. They were like the second most powerful group in France, aside from the king. There was a little showdown with them. them. Anyway, um, they say this style, Burgundy, is a bold style, and they use a variety of bold grapes from, well, California, but the style originated in France, okay? So it's not a particular grape, single grape. All right, it's Burgundy, like... I've said before, 1983 Buick silver Buick Regal with a vinyl burgundy top and the vinyl interior, burgundy interior, right? And those are real popular color in the 80s, burgundy. Especially for Buicks for some reason. Maybe Dodge Maradas also always had these burgundy vinyl tops and interiors but they had like the crushed velvet <laughs> anyway I just remember everybody saying that and talking about oh yeah I like that burgundy okay um, Ernest and Julio Gallo is the company family owned still today some alcohol eggs here beautiful color so let's see how it goes for a what the company would call a popular priced wine, something like that. They don't say cheap. Um, it's very fruity. It is bold in the aroma. It's not boozy or anything. It's just bold, sharp red grapes. And it's the same thing in the flavor. It's a strong flavor, it might turn some people off. It's fairly dry, it's not as dry as the Merlot, but it's like medium dry. Or maybe a better description would be mostly dry, whereas the Merlot is just like straight dry. The body's medium, it's a little soft, it's easy drinking, it's enjoyable, I don't see anything wrong with it. Okay, if you live in Eagle Pass, Texas, or uh, I think it was the same price in um, so the town I went to, uh, Del Rio, I saw it there also for the same price at HEB, yeah, buy it, it'd be a great value. I mean, so cheap for uh, four liters? That's about as cheap as it can possibly be obtained. $13.98 over here is still extraordinarily low. Um, I did notice that the liquor prices in Texas were quite higher than here. Although maybe out in the western part, like I was, it's more remote, sorta. So it's more expensive. Like I went to Fort Stockton, the liquor stores. I mean, 
It's like 40% higher than right here. And they had things in Fort Stockton I wanted to buy, but I did not do it. I said, no, nah, I'm not paying. I'll just skip it. I'll see that stuff some other time. Like that Jack Daniels green bottle. I thought it was rare. Then I see the big jug, the regular size bottle, the smaller bottle. And it was like outlandishly expensive. And then the regular Jack Daniels was so much more expensive. It's like 30 something dollars for the 750. And it was $21.99 here. So $21.99 is like $34, $35 over there. I said, uh-uh, no way, thanks, but no thanks. Back to this. Really has a, a wonderful aroma. The taste is very good too, but the, the aroma is really what makes it. Hey, this is the first video review for this beer, this boob wine in the world. So thank you for watching this video production. I highly recommend it. I've been doing the long march through the Carlo Rossi brands. Hadn't tried a bad one yet. Now, Jean-Pierre saying try Livingston Cellars. I said, okay, I haven't had one of those yet. Um, that's Gallo also. And then I had the Gallo family Merlot. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, the Burgundy. And uh, that was very nice. So thank you for watching this video production.